About six months ago, I bought this 1973 Plymouth Duster, sight unseen. And today I'm finally in southern Tennessee to not only see it for the first time, yep, but of course, I'm gonna try to drive it home. This supposedly runs, right? Should. Already? Yeah. I hope. <laughs> he said something to paraphrase like, might could make it home, which I think is a southern thing for I don't know, to be honest. So that'd be a little interesting, but should run. But you want to give us a little tour here? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So the story for this car was I bought this thing from a, an ice old lady just right down the road. It's called a place called Lick Skillet, Alabama. And it was on Butter and Egg Road to be exact. And she bought this car new, or not new necessarily. Did you say butter and egg road? I did say butter and egg road. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, backwoods kind of stuff right here. Anyway, this is a 73 with a six-cylinder automatic. She bought it in 75, and I think I bought it around 2015, 2016. So it was a two-owner car, but she had it for however many years that is, if you want to do the math. But uh, what I've done to it since then is uh, put some wheels and tires on it, make it look a little bit race car and did a little cleaning up on the interior, nothing crazy more, probably just dropped a headliner and made it look worse on the inside, but uh, did a couple things cosmetically, got it to run, drove it to Columbus, Ohio, put a nice little eBay uh, oh, yeah. two barrel on it. and Two and one job? Exactly. So. Nice, leaning tower of power. And this should be a 225, right? Should be, should be. How did we tell? Checked. Couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't like these things. So. I would just put it to the floor and see to the pants will tell us. Maybe. It doesn't do anything like that. Was this painted with like a roller or a brush or something? So well, the story goes, this was a what's called a gold duster. And if you look closely, you can still kind of see the sticker some on one of these fenders oh, where yeah. it says gold it says duster. Gold du yeah. So what it's supposed to have is trim right here. I have trim and a half vinyl top with like a gator grain and it's kind of a gold color. And then obviously the gold duster with stripes down the side and you can still see some of the stripe right there on the inside of the door oh sure enough so that's what it's supposed to have yeah i i was on a budget back in like college probably my sophomore year took the carpet out uh, pressure washed it spray painted it with some walmart paint uh this is all sounding good so oh far man i mean listen this stuff is top of the line I wouldn't sell you a junk car. You don't. You don't believe that, right? I would. I would sell you nothing but goodness. And he he learned me up on these hub capillators here with the holes in them. That's uh, cop car stuff. Cool. Yeah, so uh, cool the brakes or something. You know, this thing basically has cop suspension, cop brakes, cop tires, all the good stuff. Now. Oh yeah, a little weight reduction. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's that's standard equipment right there. And uh, you said you were wiring up for some subwoofers or something. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I never understood this in the Mopars. It pretty much all got that, don't they? Right. It's, yeah. Slightly inconvenient. Yeah. Somewhat like that. A little bit more than slightly. I'm going to say it burns oil. Yeah. Uh, well, by. not a whole lot. It's got a little blow by, a little choochy, but this is just from the safe side. And I'll be honest with you, I know it's got oil pressure, but that's probably overkill. I, I doubt that that engine is that bad off, but it's just what I had laying around and that's what's in it. What was that animal that just landed there? Did you see that? I don't know. I didn't want to look at it. <laughs> it was juicy. <laughs> Whatever it was. Tires look great. They're only a couple years old, you said, right? Yes. Yeah, so the, what I did, these wheels right here were actually an inch wider, and I don't know why. The, the original were like 14 by four and a half, which is ridiculous. And then these were five and a half, but they were on the back. So I took those, put them on the front, yeah. 235, 60, 14s. And then these are actually, I bought these at the Coker Tire Show that they have every year. They sell overstock stuff. This is a small bolt pattern wheel in a 15 by seven. That's a brand new wheel. They don't, they never produce that from the factory. So that way you could put a big giant 275. Nice. It looks 60. good. I like the look. So it's, it's overkill. I mean, it, it kills all your, your bottom end, which this car never had that to begin with. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you just basically lean forward a lot right. with slant sixes. Interior looks not too bad. 
And I think one of the handful of photos I saw on this, there's a license plate covering some rust yes. somewhere. Yes. That's approved. We'll leave that. I don't even want to know where it's at. We'll just We'll pretend. let that be a mystery. We'll yeah. What is this thing here? That is an FM converter for the AM radio that's in the car. Oh. Hey, and I'm not I'll kidding. Be it dead. was completely wired with alligator clips on every connector. <laughs> so I took it all out before it turned the car down. I mean, this car is just full of goodness. It's already got the little trees. It's got a plug-in for your Bluetooth stuff down there. Didn't even have to bring that. That's good. I hope those are seat bolts that aren't installed. <laughs> oh, that's fairly solid. Bunch of parts. Door panel's actually in pretty good shape. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Also, I walked past this. It's got a hitch on it already. So, and a license plate. Can I keep this for a while? Or do you have yeah, to transfer those in Tennessee? You can patch it before if you wanted to. Oh. I actually think you can transfer that. Huh. I do already have a duster, of course, but it's got a blown up 318 and slipping transmission and it lit on fire the last time I tried to move it. So I figured, why not just pick up another one? And why are these hornets red? Is that normal? They're just angry. Look at that thing. I killed about 20 of them in this door right here. The nest is still in there, so if you see one fly around while you're driving it, I apologize. <sighs> Great. All right, man. Well, it looks pretty solid. I guess we'll try to get her fired up. He's going to keep this never start battery. I'm going to get something else in here for now, but I think the plan is we'll swing by the parts store and get another battery and maybe put some sparkulators in it or something. Probably needs a good set of plugs, he said. So, but cool, man. Thanks uh, for holding it for a year or whatever it was, <laughs> half a year. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And I'll let you know if I make it home, I guess. Well, I hope so. I really do. <laughs> so, yeah, the warranty expires when you leave the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Dang it. So I'm actually in the process of moving to Tennessee right now. And just by pure happenstance or luck, wizardry. I don't know. One could say magic. My house to here is actually only 40 miles, so we don't have a long ways to go, but you know what they say, don't count your chicken eggs when they're, while, they're, while they're hatching, you know, because something could happen. Let's take a closer look back here. Got some extra coolant. That saves some money. Looks like the original air cleaner. Sure, we got an empty box. You never know when you need that another empty box where the evil bay fuel make it happen or came out of it that must be the original holly one barra keep that look at this back seat though that's in really good shape actually and we have seat belts sure as far as mileage goes 139 or 239 i don't know probably Probably 239. Dome light works. Got no headliner, but that makes it better. Sure. Mm, that's factory. This is actually. Oh, okay. Well, just forget. I don't know. Forget that. This seems to still do something, apparently. I'm excited to use that FM transistor switcher over box if in it still works. And there really is some license plates somewhere in here. I think they're over here, but. We're just, you know, pretend that that didn't happen. He also did say he switched the brake master cylinder out and supposedly it has brakes, which is, you know, that's new on me. We'll take it. This is the battery I traded for, a max, but you know, a third of the size, that's fine. This is also the smallest negative cable I've ever seen in my life. and. This one's partially lit on fire and corroded, so that's okay. AC system is complete in this car, though. I'm actually looking forward. Maybe we try to fire that up. I don't know. we got to dump some juice in it somewhere. Maybe here. Doubtful. Very. But we'll see what happens. It's got a bunch of, you know, there's... All right. Sure. We'll put that back. It also leaks an alarming amount of ATF. So that's good. Never have to change that. Just keeps auto magically flushing. Well, let's go ahead and just fire this thing up and 
see what it sounds like, huh? Oh, the seat is straight luxury, and I ain't kidding you. Let's see, Mopar keys are always upside down. Got to be different. Starter sounds like a dying dolphin. That's completely normal, fellers. Don't worry about that. Fired right up. Sounds pretty good. Not bad. Something whistling. Awesome. We'll make it happen. Might have to get the Tanya Harding and bend this bracket a little bit. It's kind of cranked in there, but slight miss. Not horrible. But we could probably fix that with some sparkulators. See what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Definitely got a miss. Maybe two? We'll see if we could bring that out of it though. The miss there is really escalating. And it's being accompanied by some anti-skeeter. She's really starting to smoke up a storm here. So I think what a guy should do is just jam this thing on the highway. And let's just go to the closest O'Reilly Auto Parts store. They're going to have everything we need. And Can a guy just, you know, tune it up right there in the lot? I think so. I think we can do that. I didn't bring much for tools or anything with me today, but... I should have enough to put some sparklators in it. We'll take a look at the lightning whirler and some other stuff, and maybe we'll even change on the oil. No idea when that was changed last. Puffed quite a bit of blow by there, but eh, we'll pretend we didn't see that. Ooh, unicorn sticker. So I did find an O'Reilly's just 10 miles from here, actually. So we should be able to make it there just fine. No, probably not. But as we're on the way, we can also beep boop, you know, analyze a little bit if we need to throw anything else on the list there. And hopefully the brakes actually do work. That would be a first and probably last. soggier than a newborn baby's diaper but it's there you know we're like that in third gear responsive steering it's almost like an f1 race car horn works everything's going fine blinker doesn't do anything this blinker doesn't do anything i'm really hoping the fuel gauge doesn't work because it snapped off below E and I did not ask him how much fuel is in here. <laughs> that's that's also fine. Alternator is charging like mad. Must be that little battery in there. Oh, brakes. Oh, we do got brakes. Oh, be dipped. Like, good brakes. All right. I wonder if I just manually blink this. Is that going to blink any lights? I don't know. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's 58, 59 horsepower. There's third gear again, immediately. Well, it should whip us in the town anyway.
it here. I think the first thing we're gonna do is take out this lawn tractor battery, swap this in for something with the go handle. I plan on driving this rig quite a bit if we get her tuned up right, so might as well have a good battery. And like I say, we'll get some sparkulators and we'll bust the cap off the lightning whirler down there and see how that looks. It definitely has an oil leak going on. Must be the valve cover gasket. At least we know there's still some in it after the trip. Got a fix on that throttle cable. I think we just put a little band in her. Grab this. And then of course, we better do an Italian tune-up to the old gal. That should be right over here. There we go. Scooted around back here, snagged up some shade, you know, and also didn't want to take up their spots up front. Wife and kids followed me down with the going to town pickup, and thankfully I threw in a jack and some jack stands, and of course my trusty toolkit. Snagged up a drain pan here and all the other essentials. I think I don't know if I need more. It's right there, you know. I think what I'm going to do is. Start with the sparkulators. The exhaust is on the other side on these Chrysler Slant 6s so you don't burn your forearms off. That's nice. And that way the oil cools a little bit. So instead of burning my hand all the way off, it's only gonna severely scald me. Huh. That'd be nice. Sounds weird saying it, but other than the miss, runs good. It did get progressively worse as I was coming into town at the shut her down lights it start you know burping and bopping and actually quit on me a couple times so i think a plug is definitely fouled and it's just getting to the point we got to change these things seems like this keeps getting lower the guy's back later is going to be out oh this one's finger tight i wonder what jody messina's doing is she ever going to make another album wow what in the devil is this oh there goes the socket i i'm back i got it attempt number 392 good news is i'm still on the first one and the sun's going down no not even close but you know what i'm saying i got more vacuum hoses unplugged in here than i can count i don't think you need them though well come on now ouch that's hot oh yeah well okay well She's running richer than that Warren Buffet guy, whatever he does. There's also a ton of oil around this. I mean, excessive. So I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Rings are fine. The heads are probably good too. Let's just keep going, you know. All right. Gapped. There's a big fancy car wash back here. You can hear that thing just whipping away. Guy gets this finished up in time. Maybe we dip a toe to jacuzzi and get this car sparkled up a little bit. How much is their wash? $25? Maybe we wait till it rains. I don't know. Well, how long are the threads on this? This can't be normal. Do I really got it? Got 15 wobble jockeys and nine extensions on here. Torqued. The new ones, you know, they're, they're in there. And you can see down here, a couple of these cylinders were just really chewing on the oil, especially the number five there, and six. That's most likely the cause of that miss. Well, 92.37% anyway. Someday a guy should probably do a compression test here and maybe even a leak down test. Nope, probably not. Okay, the oil's still piping hot, so let's go ahead and get this up and drop that. Fun game a guy likes to play by himself is slam a jack under a car and start lifting. It's gonna grab something eventually. Well, what kind of an alien looking frame is this? I don't know, I'll just, just jam it in under here maybe. Like that? Sure. Captain's log, observations A through C3. This is some organized moss and mold. Also, this thing has just been bouncing off the bump stops. That's neat. Got the Chrysler oil pan wrench just snugged on there. Should be able to get that off. Yeah, finger tight, I guess. So 
didn't even need that to begin with. Let's see what we got here. Pips. Uh, ooh, it is hot, and I ain't kidding you. Not a lot of metal on the Mega Mint. That's good. Oil didn't look that bad, but didn't hurt us any changing on it. Cheap insurance, and now we know we can write the date and miles on the filter there. I didn't see any glitter parties or Legos or chicken bones or anything like that coming out, so that's good. Clean this up a little bit. I'm actually just gonna run it in and have them recycle it. Might as well right here, and then I don't splish splash around the trunk, you know. You fellers must be catching on. This place was clean out of the Rotella T4 heavy duty diesel oil, which that's great, but leave, leave a little bit for a guy, you know. That's all right, we'll just slide over and use the house brand 1540. This meter exceeds Caterpillar, Mac, Cummins, so surely it's good for a slant six, right? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that ought to do it. Might as well top off the ice cube juice. This is free laying in the back seat. That's a win. Oh, there's a big chunk of room temperature vulcanization cream floating around in there, so that means the water pump's been replaced, or maybe the thermostat, or I don't know. It's not supposed to be in there, is what I'm saying. So I'm gonna do the right thing and just put the cap back on. Yeah. Well, let's fire on it now. See if that mist is still hanging around or maybe it's a neighbor now. Oh, starter, great. Oh yeah, I gotta fix that throttle. It's nothing than all. Sounds a lot better, actually. Well, let's... I immediately take that back. Still missing. Not as bad, though. Not as bad. We're just gonna have to take it. Well, idling a little steadier, though. Let's fix this throttle real quick. So this here is bent, oh, and loose, kind of in an odd shape. I'm wondering if a guy just re-bends the band this way, maybe this won't be so stuck like that. Well, I think I got her, you know, just hooked that on there and went until I felt my tendon popping. And sure enough, she's all bent in and aligned now, and that might not be so sticky. Also, little tip here fellers when you change on your sparkulators just you know keep the best of the bad throw her down there especially when you're burning some earl like this because you just never know when you need one well i think that's that maybe we uh go on ahead and jam it in that thing see how good it you know keeps water out no it's not going to one of my little humans decided it was much cooler riding home with dad than this, huh? Yep. Also, supernova. No idea. Smells weird, but let's go ahead and put it in here. There we go. Still don't know what that does, but I guess it'll just hang them for now. One last thing before we get on the road. We got to get this Italian tune-up done. better. Hey, do you want to go uh, swing through that car wash? Yep. Think it'll leak? Yes. <laughs> there's no towels in here, is there? Oh, there's one back there. All right. Ooh. She's low, I guess, fellas. $45. That can't be real. 
Is that what this says? I don't see No. I don't know what to do. Hello. What's that? Cooper? You gotta speak up. I don't. Is there a human being? I'm just gonna put money in and see what happens. Hello. I don't know how to do it. Let's add some armor all. Sure. We got a lioness up here. Some sort of pre soak. Now we just have to hope it doesn't quit in the car wash. Yes. Remember that one time when we were in. It was like a blue Chevy and we broke down in the middle of a car wash. Yeah. And had to get out and push it. Push it out. Yep, been there a time or three. <laughs> oh, he's uh, scrubbing it. Looks like a broom with a shop towel wrapped around the end. Just really getting the bugs off the front. Does the fan work? Nope. Does the radio work? Uh uh. How about wipers? Boop. Nope. I don't know. We got neon lights in here. We got whirly whippies. That's all the soap though? We're done soaping. I need more soap! I don't think you can hear me. Oh! Yeah, we got leakage back here like you wouldn't believe. I guess I can stick my hand out over here. That makes sense. How are you doing over there? I have one leak here and then That was twenty dollars. I'd like about sixteen back, please. Well, I guess we just we just drive home, huh? Yep. Okay, here we go. and kittens right now and I ain't kidding you. Good thing we just took a 78 million dollar car wash. That's fine. Topping it off again real quick since I don't have a fuel gauge here. Did cool off though. That's nice. You getting hungry? Yeah. Yeah me too. Well, I'll go get something huh? She's got tail lips. I don't know about up front here. Oh yeah. Hey, we're good to go. Boy, look how nice that is when it's shiny. Pizza Hut, ding ding, it's time for supper. No, pretty sure that's wrong. Swung into another O'Reilly's, picked up some Rain X and a professional rain poncho. Also known as a garbage bag. But is it really a dumb idea if it works? Not sure if Rain X is as effective when you apply it whilst raining, but 
I don't have any options. I got hot pizza here, fellas. I gotta get home. Well, it's significantly better. The guy can kinda sorta 22% see where I'm going now, at least. Well, hey, we made it to the house and the new Vice Grip Garage headquarters here in Tennessee. We just beat the rain and now it caught up to us again. I'd sure like to show you more in the shop, but we're actually having some stuff done to the floors right now, so we can't get in there, but obviously you're gonna see it a bunch in the future. Long day, but any day you could bring a duster home is an awesome day. I do have, I think, a plan brewed up on this, and it's gonna involve getting the dents out in that corner panel over there. If you've got some ideas, bleep bloop down below, and I'll take a look at them. Thanks guys for watching, appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time.